Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Everyday Me video. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this makeup look right here. It's my kind of current no makeup makeup look, which is essentially my, my usual daily routine. To me anyway, the no makeup makeup look is just a way that we enhance some of the main features in our face while still looking more natural. Like you kind of have to take a second glance at the skin being like, is she wearing any makeup? Is that her real skin? Is she naturally this dewy? It's just a nice way to use a very light base. It's evening out the skin tone, enhancing a couple features very subtly. It's like overall subtle makeup, but it's still prepping the skin, covering what we want to have covered, giving a little bronzer here, a little blush there. It's just very light day-to-day -day makeup. If you wanted to see how I created this current no makeup makeup look, then please do just keep on watching. Everything that I mentioned will be listed in the description box down below. All right. Roll transition. <laughs> so to start off the no makeup makeup look, a huge, huge focus for me anyway, for no makeup makeup is definitely the skin. Making my skin feel and look luminous and healthy and alive. Emphasizing certain parts, but making it look natural, like it's your skin, but better. <laughs> And since we are approaching the summer season, I did want to start off with a sunscreen. I know I don't talk about sunscreen a lot on my channel. I know that sunscreen is important all year round, but when the sun is out, that is definitely when I venture out between the four walls of my home. So that is when I like to focus on my sunscreen application. Now this portion of the video is sponsored by Ren. You guys know how much I love Ren. I have worked with Ren in the past. I absolutely love their Evercon line and they have actually just come out with a new sunscreen, which is what I'm featuring here for you today. And it's really, really exciting because while well, there's a lot of exciting parts about it, this is the sunscreen here. It's their clean screen sunscreen, SPF 30. Now this is a mattifying sunscreen that's gonna smooth out your skin and it's actually made to go under makeup, which is perfect. Um, you can obviously wear it alone, but it sets well under makeup. It doesn't have a strong white cast. It's made without the oxybenzone, which is really nice because that's a really comedogenic acne rearing product that exists, unfortunately, in a lot of sunscreens. Cruelty-free, vegan, absolutely clean. So I'm really excited to use the sunscreen for you today. Really excited to take it to Mexico too. <laughs> After every day, May baby, we are taking a break. I'm going to sit on the beach and you best believe I'm gonna be soaking in this. I'm going to apply the sunscreen to my face. And don't forget the ears as well. New sunscreen launch from Ren. Mattifying face sunscreen, broad spectrum. All the things you need in a sunscreen right here for your face. I also have a discount code for the Ren website. You can use my code Alana to save Moolah off your first order on the Ren website. I will link it in the description box down below, but it does apply to many other of my favorite products on the Ren website, including the Evercom Overnight Bomb. <laughs> Uh, my favorite thing ever. So if you wanted to save Mula off of your first Ren order, check the discount code in the description box down below. That is a sunscreen. Let us continue on with the makeup on the face. I'm gonna do a little mixture of some bronzy moisturizing goodness, taking my Smashbox primerizer, and this is the Clinique Sun Kissed Face Jelly. Now I actually bought this because of Vanessa. Vanessa actually used this on her arms and she was like, oh my God, it actually works. It's like a kind of warm bronzing tinting thing. It's for your face. Look at that there, this skin jelly. But she used it on her arms and she said it works. So I'm just gonna mix it in with the primerizer. I've only used this like twice before. And I'm just gonna rub that on to give a lovely warm glow over my skin and hydrate at the same time. I feel like that would actually be so good to mix in with the sunscreen in the summertime. Give yourself a little bit of a warm boost. Mix in with the sunscreen. That's a nice little combo there. Anytime that I'm doing like a more skin focused makeup look, like a no makeup makeup look, I always wanna make sure I'm incredibly hydrated. So pack on the Smashbox primerizer. And then if you didn't even wanna wear foundation, if you were having a really good skin day, mixing in a kind of like bronzing, glow giving, base just looks fantastic. So for the foundation, I wanted to use the even better refresh foundation from Clinique, this one here. And I'm also gonna take a little drop of the Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face, and I'm going to press this into the skin. I find that applying foundation with my fingers just gives it a much more natural look. The warmth in your fingers helps the product to blend in with your face, and it just overall gives it a much more natural look. And for a no makeup makeup look, I don't want to be able to see any of the foundation. You still wanna be able to kind of see your skin through it. It like just evens out the skin tone, giving it a flawless appearance, but there's no cakiness whatsoever on top. And then I'm just gonna go in with my beauty sponge 
over top just to help blend in any of the areas that I was not able to blend in with my fingers, making sure that there's no crazy lines anywhere. And products like this, like the Clinique Even Better Refresh, Even Better Glow, MAC Face and Body, Glossier Skin Tint, they're really, really light coverage foundations, but they do just nicely even out the skin tone, but you can still see your blemishes and whatnot, but you're just doing an overall glow giving skin evening look. So speaking of that, I'm gonna take my RMS Beauty Uncover Up Concealer. This is a very light, very dewy skin-like concealer. It's definitely a product I use more in the summertime, but I find this like the epitome of a no makeup makeup concealer. It's just light, it's nice, it blends very, very beautifully into the skin. And I just press that underneath my eyes. I'm gonna do some around my nose where I get very, very red. And I'll just do a little layer on top of blemishes. It's not the best concealer for blemishes, but it'll just even out that redness a little bit. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin. So then we're not gonna set with powder yet. One of my favorite things to do with a no makeup makeup look is to use a lot of cream products because cream products tend to just blend in a little bit more naturally with your skin. Powders can sometimes tend to sit on top of the skin. So I find if you really want it to look natural, using cream products will blend in very, very nicely with the skin in a more sneaky manner. So I'm gonna take my Nude Sticks Bondi Bay bronzer and just use this to lightly warm up and contour the perimeters of the face. I'm gonna do a little bit down my nose as well and on the jawline. I'm gonna try using my beauty sponge to actually blend this in. I usually use a stipple brush, but I find that the beauty sponge gives it an even more natural look. It picks up all the excess product, which is pretty wasteful. <laughs> but I find that it just blends it in so much more smoothly like that. So it's like a, it's like a natural matte flush. But I'm also going to use cream highlighter and blush. This one is the Burt's Bees All Aglow Bronzing Stick. This one's in the shade Golden Shimmer. It's called Bronzing Stick, but I'm using it as a highlighter, so I'm just gonna place that onto the high points of the cheekbones. And I'm using this because this Burt's Bees one, as well as the Nude Sticks Hey Honey, these ones are very, very subtle, natural looking highlights. They don't have any chunks of glitter. It's not as um, potent in the highlighting realm. It's a much more dewy, natural flush versus some of the other more intense highlighters that exist in the world. And it also smells freaking delicious. I love this thing. So just placing that on the high points of the skin. And this is also a much more like wet feeling product. Like it doesn't set in. It's not like a creamed. Oh my God. If anyone else is saying, hey, Lana, blend out under your lip. I just want you to know that so am I. And <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. The embarrassment is real. Just know that I too am really wanting to blend out that under lip. So, so badly. Okay, all right, resume. The powder finish or anything, so it's gonna really keep that dewy, dewy look all day long, no matter what. And then for blush, one of my favorite things to do is take something that's gonna give a very, very um, fresh wash of color over the face, and I always go for cool toned pinks for that. It makes your skin look very awake, brightens up the entire look, and it gives the appearance of a more natural flush. So I'm gonna use the recent purchase, the Cherry Blossom Babe from Nude Sticks, and just apply a little bit of that on my cheeks, like so. I freaking love this color. It's such a good color. I'm gonna be wearing this all summer long. I know it. And then I'm just gonna dab that in with the beauty sponge as well. And I'm gonna bring it a little bit farther up and also across my nose again for that natural flushed look. Just patting motions with the beauty sponge. And that is the base. It's a very, very natural looking base. It still looks like my skin. I can still see some of my blemishes through it, but I have just enhanced some of the areas that I want to, giving it a natural sun-kissed flush. And then when you have an up-close view of the skin, you really can't actually see any physical particles of makeup on the skin. It looks like it's just naturally occurring. 
dewiness, freshness, and wetness. I woke up like this, thank you so much. So next I'm going to do the brows. I think defining the brows, giving it a very, very light, fluffy, feathery look just helps to open up the face, open up your eyes, shape the face, and just give your face an overall complete look without doing anything too crazy. So I'm gonna lightly fill in the brows. I'm using my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Duo here, the pencil and also the brow mascara, just to lightly fill in the brows. And one of the things I always do to give my brows a more natural, no makeup makeup look is once I have filled them in and filled in all of these sparse areas, I take a fluffy brush and I just fluff over the brows. I have talked about this so many times on my channel. It's one of my favorite beauty hacks from my beauty hacks video, but I just take the blendy brush and fluff it around. And I don't know, it's like magic. It just removes any harsh lines from the product that was used to fill in the brows. And it just instantly gives it a more feathery, fluffy look. So I do that and then I'm going to set it in with the brow mascara. And I always like to give my brows a lifted look. I always lift them away from my eyes, make me look really wide awake. I friggin' love this wand on this L'Oreal brow stylus. I think it is genius. For the eyes, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to leave them plain. Do a little coat of mascara. This is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara with the bendy wand. Put a light coat of this. If you wanted an even more natural look, you could skip mascara or you could also use a brown mascara. The Tarte Lifted Mascara is amazing for that. One of my favorites for a lighter everyday look. But I also find that using a black mascara just adds more of a nice definition to the eyes. Makes you look more awake. I feel like mascara just does wonders for the alive lookingness of your face. <laughs> and before we finish off with the lips, I am just gonna take a small eyeshadow brush and dip into some powder. And just to keep that natural dewy look, I'm just gonna focus this directly where I need it, which right now is underneath the eyes. I don't want anything to budge, but I also don't want too much of an overall matte look, so I'm just applying a really small amount to where I need to set in, just very lightly in the T-zone, a small amount of product. I just don't want any budgery there. I'm also gonna apply some on the top of my lid to prevent the concealer from creasing, because I did take some of the RMS concealer on my eyelid, and I just wanna make sure that that doesn't budge but we're not giving too much of an overly done matte look with too much powder. Just a little bit. And then finally for the lips, for a perfect no makeup makeup look, find something that is very close to your natural lip color. This Wet n Wild Bear to Comment lip liner is really, really close to the natural pink in my lips. I actually have quite pigmented lips. If I don't wanna wear anything, I will just apply a lip balm, but I always like to, especially after applying foundation and concealer and whatnot, I always like to define the line of my lips. So I'm just gonna take this, and as you can see, this pink is very, very close to the natural pink in my lips. So I'm just going to outline the lips, give them a little bit more of a defined shape, and then I take my finger and rub it over the lip liner and just kind of blend it into the lip like that. And then if you want, you can go in with the blush. So the Cherry Blossom Babe. I'm just gonna take a little dab of that over top, blend it in with the lip liner just to give it a more monochromatic look. Spritz my face with some Farsali 24 karat gold mist. Help it set in all the makeup, melt it into the face, pat down my beard with my beauty sponge. <laughs> and that, my friends, is everything for this very, very fresh, dewy and alive looking no makeup makeup. This is just a really nice quick makeup to enhance the main features in your face and give yourself a more awake and fresh look. I think this is a perfect look to wear for school, perfect look for the summer, perfect look for work. It's nice and light. It's completely undetectable on the skin uh, and it just makes you feel a little bit more fresh and awake and alive. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. If you do recreate this look, please let me know. Tag me, Adelanorama everywhere. I wanna see your guys' no makeup makeup looks. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me and let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite products are that you use for your no makeup makeup looks. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video. Bye.